January of 2022 marks one of the deadliest months in Missouri during the COVID-19 pandemic. And a recent review of death certificates added hundreds of cases in the month of January. ABC 17's Kennedy Miller is live in Columbia for us tonight. And Kennedy, these deaths aren't a reflection of the daily total released by the state health department, but sometimes they're added actually weeks later. Deb Lucas adding those backdated deaths actually created a spike in COVID-19 deaths in mid-January, which surpassed the Delta wave. Health experts also found over 300 COVID-19 deaths each week reported over three weeks. The Omicron wave is setting a new trend of higher COVID-19 deaths seen nationwide. According to the Department of Health on January 19th, the weekly COVID review reports 130 deaths. And by February 8th, the weekly review announced 336 new deaths. Although we're seeing an upward trend in COVID-19 deaths, the Department of Health sometimes adds in backdated death certificates. The data provided creates an uptick in deaths in mid-January, which surpassed the summer Delta wave and came pretty close to matching the deaths reported last winter before vaccines were even available. Experts say vaccination is still the best way to prevent catching the virus. About 56% of Missourians are fully vaccinated and the state has administered nearly 1.4 million boosters as well. And if you'd like to learn more about the spike of COVID deaths in Missouri, you can read my story by visiting our website at abc17news.com. And also tried reaching out to Lisa Cox, who works for the state's Department of Health and other local hospitals. But I'm still waiting to hear back. For now, reporting live in Columbia, Kennedy Miller, ABC 17 News. Okay, Kennedy, thank you. And Dave Dillon, who works for Missouri Hospital Association, also added that people who have underlying conditions have a greater chance of getting hospitalized or even dying from COVID-19.